Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Factoroids. Let's get back to it. I'm going to extend my platform over here just a bit. And then uh, we'll get to what we work, want to work on this episode. But I want to get keep these platforms moving. I'm just going to put a fill over here. Turn down my volume a little bit. Boom. Boom. That'll extend that out. And then I think we have one more block to go on this platform and then we'll, we'll be done. Yeah, this platform needs one more block to match up with that guy. Eventually we're gonna replace all this concrete. Hmm, I should probably leave it. Should probably leave it because we want, um, I mentioned it last episode, I really wanna use these platform cubes. We need tons of stainless steel to do that, <laughs> to do it. I'd like these actually bordered in those um, platform blocks instead and replace these things with platform blocks. Maybe we won't fill this in. We'll wait. Uh, that one, I think we can still put, uh, probably shouldn't, but I I'll leave that just as it is. All right, let's, um, what we can do is start extending this in the other direction. The middle is going to be concrete. There's no way we can use these the steel for the entire platform. So I'm gonna throw down a bunch of these. This should be pretty quick. And these should be automatically connected to the belt that's underneath there that has concrete. We can take a look at it real quick. Yep, those are all gonna hook up. All right, let's get up here. There's several things I wanna do. Several, several things. Um, one, if we look over at the hub area, I started adding a bunch of miners to start harvesting the asteroid around us. And these are all going into the hub. Now, if you look real close, these belts that are closest to the hub, they kind of have like a little W pattern on them. That's upgraded belt and they move quite a bit faster. Um, the cost of those upgrades, we wanted to upgrade, say right here. Boom. We've unlocked three levels of upgrades. One, two, and three. The first one costs rock and carbon. Super cheap. One and one, right? Boom. Let's upgrade that. And then if you look up at the inventory up in the top right, we've got 956 carbon and we have like pretty much infinite rock. Let's set up a production line to make more carbon. We can do that kind of super easy. Maybe right here, show you what I'm thinking. We're gonna be harvesting this rock for ages off to the left. And maybe we can plan on using this belt as our main path into the hub. So let's branch off of that and take whatever the rock is that's coming out of here. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna hit shift while I put this down. That'll make sure all the belts are disabled. And then I'm going to filter this guy for rock and we'll smelt that into uh, carbon. And then maybe we'll even save up carbon fiber too. So we'll do maybe a couple little production lines right here. So you, whoops, what I wanted. Okay, deactivate that guy. And I want to set a filter for rock. Boom. And then let's do another belt here. We'll do two production lines here. Okay, so rock's gonna come through this way. And then we'll refine it or we'll smelt it. Look at the recipes here. If we smelt rock, we can get carbon. And then if we smelt carbon, we get carbon fiber. So let's do it. Start smelting this stuff up. Boom. Let's see. Is there a better way to do this? Just thinking. Maybe not. We'll go simple. I was thinking maybe we could get 
extra. Oh, uh, let's we'll just do it this way is fine. Boom. Because the camera just went flipping out on me. Okay. This guy is producing carbon. This guy is going to do the same thing. We'll send some of that rock this way. And then we'll just put this on the belt. That's carbon. This we're going to set to carbon fiber. Boom. So it'll be a little bit slower running. Go there and you go there. And then let's speed up the refinery speed. We have an upgrade for that, I think. Smelting speed. Ooh, that costs silicon. We have... How much do we have of that? Not much. 66. Uh, we're going to have to set up a line similar for silicon to do the same kind of thing. Uh, should we do it? It's only two. Let's do it for this one, at least. Give this guy a smelting upgrade. I have 66. Yeah, let's upgrade this guy, too. Melting speed. That'll take some burden off of our main belt. Now, if we smell, if we grab um, silicon, might be nice to send that along too, right? Because there is silicon in some of these rocks somewhere, or if we chill this lava, we might get some. Maybe we could do another production line coming over this way for that. Take a look. Yeah, silicon into there. Let's do it. Let's put a filter on this one. Take it. Filter. Silicon ore. You come this way. Uh, this belt we need to disable. Silicon's going to make itself this way, this way. And one more down. We're basically going to do something super similar. Sorry for the camera. Out of my control. Melter here. This one's going to process silicon if we get it. I'm going to put a filter on this guy here too. Make sure we don't get the wrong stuff. Silicon comes in, gets turned into the process silicon, finds its way back to the main belt and in. Okay, let's melt off this, or let's freeze these two tiles. We got three tiles over here to freeze up. Let's do it. Put a miner here. Onto this ice. Actually, maybe start at the top. Down some freezers. One there. There. One there, for now, anyway. Okay, so these will get frozen, and we'll see what's underneath them. Uh, this guy, I can't get to yet. I need a path to this belt right here. That's where all the filtering happens. You guys are kind of loaded up. And I suppose we can do another one mining that ice. Or two, why not?
Whoops. And then now that we're producing this silicon, or carbon, I should say, carbon, let's upgrade some more of these belts so we can move this stuff faster. Air belt speed one. Uh, that's going to get destroyed. We could still do it. Yeah, all these blocks are going to get destroyed. I guess that belt might still be here. Let's upgrade this, this one too. I can probably select all these, right? Boom. Get those upgraded, then it'll help us clear this area a bit faster. Dig that hole. Um, let's mine this layer, but not upgrade that belt. Camera. And then these two here. These belts are all upgraded, so hopefully we'll be moving things a little bit faster into the hub. Uh, this belt's slow. We can probably leave that as is. All right, let's back up. All right, one of the other things we want to do, or we're going to need to do, is set up a farm and I talked to or I chatted with the developer for a very long time about how we might be able to set up farms. The way it works, when we put water onto a rock, a block that's made of rock, it will turn like fertile, fertile and allow us to grow crops on it. And I think at that point is when we unlock the actual fields, grain fields and stuff. I don't see them on here yet. Yeah, I don't see that stuff on here. So my thinking is, and we need farms for the colony. We need wheat and seaweed, I think. I want to do it here. We need rock. I need a way to enclose water because I don't know where the gravity is going to go. I think gravity is going to pull water towards the center of this asteroid. But I want a big green area. Gravity is not going to go straight down on this platform. So I think what we need to do is set up a fill area. We'll maybe try and test this. So that'll be this outer ring will be those platform blocks, the cool stuff made out of stainless. Then the next ring in, I think I want to leave concrete. And then the next ring in is where I want to start building um, a place where we can have farms. And I need a structure that's going to hold water basically. So we're going to test this out. I believe this needs to be rock. These are the actual fill areas. Let's make a little box and we'll test it. We got five, one, two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four, and then. And now we need to get rock to this area. Don't think we need these solar. Whoops, there's the camera. Just goes crazy. I need to get rock over here. Where can we get rock from? There's a bunch of rock right here that we could start harvesting. Um, but we need to bridge to it. I happen to have some extra concrete here. These blocks need to come off. We're going to borrow this concrete and bring it over there. In mind, this one is not going to be needed. And that's 
that. All those blocks are going to go. Let's bridge some concrete over this way. And fill in this area. So we can get at the rock. Boom. Um, let's see. How far are we going to come in? Oh man, the camera's driving me crazy. Boom here. That'll fill in that area. I guess we could fill in here too. Still not sure exactly where the perimeter of the platform is going to end. Let's get close. I can always tear this up later. Okay, so that concrete will come down, fill in this area, we'll get near the rock, and then hopefully we can Throw some miners on this rock and run a belt out to the left here and then back to that platform we were just at and fill in that little square. Mine this one too. Not sure if we want that one or not, but I'm going to just steal the concrete from it. So let's see how this is going to be up one layer. And we're going to need to go think about this for a minute. Basically what I want to do is layer, um, create like a big pool that's surrounded by walls of rock. And then we're going to put another layer of rock on top of that, <laughs> another layer of rock on top of that. So let's see to cover it up. So it's basically like a big square tank. And then the t if we fill it with that tank with water, I think the top is going to end up um, being like fertile ground that we can plant crops on. I think we need to move this in though. That and then let's do, I'm going to change this up a little bit. Make this a little bigger. All right, so that'll be the outer wall. And then we're gonna go in one more. And then we're gonna stack to go too high on the middle layer, and then we're gonna cover the middle. It's gonna take a bit, and that's all gonna be rock, not concrete. Like that guy's done. And this is where I wanna get my rock from over here. Um, we could speed this up. Oh, if I move these belts in the right direction. That's uh, an issue there. Should all be working now. Okay, here comes the concrete. All right, we'll let that run. Let's head over here, see how this area is doing again. 
go. I can go. Uh, looks like we chilled up some stuff. Let's chill up some more. Okay, another belt we might want to upgrade is this one here that's feeding into the hub. Make sure these are all upgraded. And then how about that belt that's bringing the hydrogen up from the from our hydrogen and oxygen makers? Get that upgraded. Then I'm gonna dive down in here. Back up. Oh man. All right, yeah, this is, we're right below the hub. That's the belt we just upgraded. And this belt here up on the ceiling is the one that's bringing the trash and all that. Let's get that upgraded because we want to make sure the trash and this hydrogen finds its way up to the hub as quick as possible. I think this belt's going to be here for a while. So. Oh, I can select multiple, right? Down and look up. This whole row. Upgrade. And the camera. Sorry about that. That one we want upgraded. Hydrogen belt. Let's see if I can get straight ish. And hopefully, that'll let us uh, get rid of this all oh, this hydrogen and the trash faster. Oxygen, we don't need to upgrade that belt, I don't think. That's not saturated. At least not yet. Now, these have been upgraded. Let's see what the next level upgrade costs. Carbon and carbon fiber. That's a no-brainer, right? Let's do it. Let's upgrade these even to the next level. Oops. Oh, a conveyor belt. Speed one. Oh, we're still waiting for these to get upgraded to level one. They let me do two. I think we have to wait. Okay, now it says it's upgraded to one. Let's do level two. Okay, that one's under construction. Back through this mess. Grade one, two.
Yeah, boy, that camera is almost unmanageable. Almost unmanageable. Okay, we're upside down. Uh, now they flip this over again. See if I can get away from some of this. Apologize for the camera stuff. It's just uh, I don't have a way around it. Just tough. This all upgraded to level two if we can. One, two. Yeah, it's just not not going to cooperate the camera. Mines here that are done. Okay, I don't see any more um, lava nearby. I'm just going to put this ice on the main belt back to the hub. That'll do it. And while we're over here, let's upgrade this belt that's going to the hub. I can get it. Okay, that one didn't get picked for some reason. This guy didn't. Ooh, conveyor belt speed three. We need circuit boards for that. Ooh, they're probably going to complain. Let's see. Speed three. I'm going to cancel that upgrade because we can't do it. That's as far as that one can go. All right, that stuff's all moving in there pretty good. Let's see how our little concrete fill stuff is going on over here. I have access to some rock, but not all the rock that I need access to. Let's get this filled in. stuff. Put the mines down. One, two, three. This. That. And then we can kind of bridge this concrete right here. Let's try it. Uh, 
Okay. One goes, that one goes. Rock comes across this way. Reverse the direction on that, reverse the direction on that. Rock's gonna come over the top and we need to get Rock way back. He'd back up over to here somehow. So let's just tear up a bunch of these solar panels that we no longer need. I'm gonna bring that rock belt down here. Basically just encircle these landfills. And then we'll get us started on our first little farm plot. We'll make that way bigger. Back basically the size of that whole platform if we can. But we're going to need a whole lot of rock before we're ready to do that. Oh man, the camera. I'm sorry. It's just looking around on its own. man. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. I'm going to do more off camera. I might have to do a lot more off camera just because the camera controls here, like I'm not doing it. It just flicks up to the, to the sky every once in a while on its own. And that can't be too pleasant to watch. Yeah, just see, just, <laughs> it just did it there. Um, undid it again. So yeah, let me wrap this episode here. <laughs> and I'll see if I can, if I how much I can do off camera, and then just showcase kind of what I've done. But yeah, this is going to be too brutal, I think, for you guys to want to watch uh, with the camera controls. I th I'm not sure if it's just the scale of stuff that we have going on, or what, or if it's the nature of, you know, playing on a three-dimensional asteroid here. There are other modes in the game where you play on a, just a flat surface, you know, a bumpy surface, but there's not you know, it's not like three dimensional an asteroid floating in space. There is, there are two camera modes. If you look at the bottom right, where it says change view here, if I click to that one, this is a slightly different mode, but it adjusts the, it kind of tries to keep you in close proximity to an area of mass. So we get this, like these, these platforms and things. As I scroll around it, it'll push us where we don't necessarily want to go. <laughs> See, that mode's not so great. And this one, this other mode here, looks like kind of like an eyeball looking off to the left. This one is like you have a jetpack almost. I can back up, I get a point which way I want to fly kind of thing. I can go sideways, sideways, forward and back, but then I need to point myself where I want to go. Can't really go up and down. If I want to go up, I got to look up go up or look down and go backwards kind of thing. This works pretty good, but it's just giving us the flickering where it just changes the camera view randomly and jarringly occasionally. That's what's kind of driving me a little crazy. I'd love to build out this platform. I don't know if it's going to be possible. But yeah, I'll do a bunch of work. Uh, between episodes and we'll come back in next episode and see what I did. Otherwise I'll post a comment in this episode that I'm not going to continue the series. It's just, yeah, I just don't know a good way to showcase this unless we do a much less ambitious playthrough. And now that I thought of this design where we have the farms, the colony, the solar towers, none of them married to it. I want to keep it going. But yeah, we'll leave it here for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Again, sorry about the camera action. Uh, if you do enjoy this content, please do give it a thumbs up. And appreciate your suggestions, comments, and suggestions as well. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.